This season, 23 experts from 23 worlds revealed something bigger than their own fields. Together, they describe the road ahead. The ability to sort of map, the, the body map, the cellular map of a body and all of the interactions that happen. And that is beyond any human contemplation just 20 years ago. Who gets to go to space in 2050? Everybody. That will be the new Norman. What is the biggest uh, potential pitfall for AI? What, what did went wrong? If we don't take seriously the uh, review of the biases of the existing data sets of the uh, generative AI. Aging, cancer, I mean, all major challenges will be solved easily by 2030, easily. Join me as we dive into how these 23 global leaders created a powerful foresight, revealing the road to the future they see and the one we're already walking. Different industries, different countries, different problems. Yet all the predictions point in the same direction. In case of autonomous, you don't see anything. It's like a soul. You don't see a soul, but it exists. Uh, the same thing with the software and the machine learning it can, that can do in the vehicles. You won't be able mm. to see it, but they can actually map the entire air traffic in the sky. I think in five to seven years from now, there will be no command center where people will be sitting. It would be an agentic AI command center where agentic AIs are actually looking at it, understanding the pattern, making the revolution. Uh, maybe in a couple of years, we might be in a situation where agentic AIs will seek human intervention to give approvals to self feel, etc. But I think down the line, maybe in five to seven years, I don't think so there'll be any human intervention to make self-healing approvals, etc. Autonomous vehicle may cost half a million dollars. So it's still a long way to go until the economics work, especially for a region like Latin America. Today, we're even lacking the infrastructure for electric vehicles. Autonomy shows up everywhere, even when we don't notice it. The first revelation, everything moves toward autonomy. Uber will become sort of the operating platform for these autonomous vehicles to operate in so that the economics work and we can connect um, all the users and the demand and the need for transportation that we know happens in the city, as well as all the information that we have about specific times, how demand peaks on some times, where those vehicles are needed. In the next five, five years, maybe it could be impossible. And yeah. we have to find the, the same ways to mitigate those ones. For example, using also artificial intelligence to identify those patterns with a high high level of automation. We need to avoid uh, manual work, uh, yep. still a huge manual work everywhere. And there's error, human error possibilities when we have all this manual work. So orbital reef creation will require uh, you saw the photo, hopefully, with thousands of people who actually helped make this flight happen. Six customers going up the space. Took so many people just on that day of the logistics, right? From the video cameras, building the trust, all of that, right? Um, uh, transportation vehicles for the families uh, to the place where the crew capsule landed. Compare uh, those are all the positions, right? So those experiences are going to actually create lots of jobs. I think the charting solution will be everywhere, that and it will be multi-layered. It will. I think. I still think it will be. Uh, a lot of homes will have charging stations, charging uh, chargers, and the public will be so abundant with supercharging stations that um, you just you're not worried about charging anymore because it's everywhere. Autonomy is not the future of machines. It's the future of everything. The second revelation, the world becomes predictable. The predictability of outcomes is getting better. In the past, it was really rolling the dice every time. And I think the, uh, the enhancement of the speed and accuracy and the ability to model um, outcomes much more clearly means that you um, perhaps don't have such a guessing game. Same thing is going to happen with the prompt engineering, right? In the LLMs, you can create a prompt uh, 
um, you can poison models, you know, or you can create the prompts uh, that you such a way that you will make the LLMs to give you the data that LLMs are not supposed to give you the data, right? So they are all going to happen. It's given, right? You know, that's really the world we are living in. I dream of having smart mirrors where every morning, not only we see ourselves, but we see a summary of how our brain and mental health is doing. So we can be more in control of that, that, of, that often we completely ignore it. And it's probably the most important thing we should be monitoring in real time. This will be solved very easily in the near future, maybe in the next five, 10 years. And it's a huge security breach, and we are the companies are working a lot to assure all those topics. Prediction replaces uncertainty. Modeling replaces guessing. The third revelation. In an age of intelligent machines, humanity becomes the differentiator. To do what we do well, which is be human and identify new possibilities, not only for the organizations in which we work in and we work for and we run, but for ourselves and what that means in our day to day. What I'm kind of looking into, what I struggle with now with, you know, if it's ChatGPT or Gemini is, yes, you write so perfectly but it's without character or personality. And even when I try to add personality or a flair, it comes out so perfectly. And then I know, but no, I want, you know, the Gwen in there. I want that when you read a text, you hear my enthusiasm, you hear my idioms, my words, my, my things. So you hear it's me who's written to you. Lo, lo, lo fundamental es pararse un momento y, y cultivar su parte ética, ¿no? O sea, no puedes crear nada ético y bueno para la sociedad si tú por dentro, o sea, si tú no tienes esa visión. Entonces yo lo que, lo que creo que se debería hacer es eh, que ca cada, cada uno, de forma individual, mmm, cultivar ese pensamiento crítico y hacernos la pregunta, ¿cómo quiero yo que sea mi aportación? Eh, ¿Qué quiero aportar yo al mundo? En, bueno, en, desde mi profesión o desde el puesto en el que estoy. Two parties that come together and that they believe that they can make a deal that adds value to both parties, right? Um, so it's a very human thing to do. So that's why I don't believe that we will be, you know, the disruptor uh, where um, we basically let an AI take over the full legal work uh, of, of a law firm. But it's there really to the law firm to focus on this value added task. And that's exactly where this human play comes into being. Uh, but also like the deep um, expertise on, you know, a certain type of company or a certain vertical industry. That's really what matters to a customer. So you can spend a lot more time on that. When everything becomes intelligent, being human becomes the ultimate skill. The fourth revelation, everything becomes connected, distributed and intelligent. 6G is from that exploded into a, into a, into a dimension that uh, that uh, uh, that we can only uh, start to imagine now. Eh? So I mean, is is giving more flexibility, is giving a better optimization of the resources, ultimately uh, reducing uh, energy consumption. I see that we're going to interact with different technologies, uh, with uh, non-terrestrial networks, with artificial intelligence with blockchain, uh, that we're going to be able to update our different technologies. And that means that we can also shut down very old technologies like 2G. I think what's going to happen is that little by little, uh, first we start using AI at an individual level. Everybody has the experience now using ChatGPT. But the challenge is how to use it to enhance the performance of a group, a team, a company, an organization in general, or even our civilization, our species. I think AI is, is our next, uh, blending us and AI is our next step in evolution. Data sprawl is given, you know, multi-cloud adoption is given to companies, right? And uh, mm -hmm. AI systems, LLMs are given, they have to go build, they have to enable copal, it's all given to them, they have to embrace it. Distributed intelligence becomes the new environment we live in. 
Two perspectives, two ways of seeing the future, one shaped by humanity, ethics, and purpose, and the other by systems, scale, and engineering. La mejor forma de influir en alguien es atacando su, su lado emocional. Mm, si una persona tiene activo su pensamiento analítico, pues entonces mm, tiene activa su, su parte crítica, puede, eh, bueno, puede creerse algo o puede no creérselo, puede eh, tener un control más racional de sus decisiones. Sin embargo, si la persona está centrada en la parte em emocional, en reaccionar, en, pues, en sentir, en, yo puedo sentir indignación, rabia, miedo, eh, asco, entonces estos, estas emociones nos vuelven... Mm, más animales y más manipulables. I almost feel like now AI is like my assistant, not assistant, my co-creator, my partner. So I basically talk to it and ask it for ideas. And I think it can become a very good, you know, partner in terms of co-creator. Huh? Sustainable transportation isn't only electric vehicles. You can walk, you can ride a bike, you can take uh, an electric public transportation. Um, and, and transportation is becoming more and more multimodal. Mm -hmm. We see this preference from users. We, we also see this trend that you were mentioning of younger generations giving up on car ownership. We as biological machines are going to be hacked. I, I, we're going to be re-engineered. Uh, it's not just uh, curing diseases, it's also hacking uh, how we age. And for me, uh, I don't want to live forever, but I would like to live in the best possible condition until the last day. La tendencia actualmente es hacer nearshoring o acercarse al mercado. Esa es la tendencia. En el reshoring simplemente mueves de un lado a otro. En el pasado, los semiconductores de Estados Unidos se movieron a Asia. Taiwán, Singapur se hicieron fuertes. Ahorita, en este momento, están tratando de regresar a hacer reshoring en, en el área de, de Estados Unidos o de América. You need to be sure that all the different actors, all the ecosystems have to be secure, not only you. And for that you need to extend your security to the rest of the partners that you have. You have to be sure that all of them are fulfilling the same level of security that you are requesting, that you are requesting to yourself. So, is this the road to the future? ASI, artificial superintelligence, it's where it's actually better than the best of us. They're going to do unimaginable things by 2030. And then and then it's just going to explode right after that. And then, you know, 10, 15 years, he says there'll be billions of these things. Humanity and technology will interweave to a point where it'll be seamless. We, we won't even think of technology as technology anywhere. If all these signals point in the same direction, and maybe the road to the future is already built.